Uh, my name is Ansel Ball. This is Jared Coleman. We're with Surface Prep. Today we're going to do a back to basics video on uh, wheel blasts. So, um, most people are familiar with blasting in general. Normally we're talking about pneumatic blasts or air blasts, uh, but this is wheel blasts. So, we're delivering the media mechanically with a, a paddle or, or a spinning wheel. And, uh, you know, the applications can be real simple, right? Normally we're cleaning or, or peening even. Absolutely. Yeah. With a steel shot or steel grit is okay. the typical media in a, in a wheel application. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of work in the shop. We're going to kind of show you a couple different types of equipment um, and even an application where we're going to clean some paint hooks, uh, which is very common for us to do here at the shop. So come on out to the shop. So today we're here with our six cubic foot thumb blast. We've got it loaded with S170, which is a very general purpose media, very, very common. Uh, we're going to be cleaning some powder coat hooks today, and this is perfect for it. Yeah. Yeah, the beauty of a tongue blast machine like this and S170 is it's uh, it's really good at a lot of different things. So if you're cleaning paint hooks like us, and then the very next day you've got a bunch of heat treated bolts that you got to clean up, it'll do both of those things. And uh, it's really a production piece of equipment. You load a batch, you run them. The nice thing about steel shot wheel equipment is it's aggressive, so it's very fast at what it does. So it may only run three minutes. Batch is done. Reverse the mill, dump them out, load another batch, and you're on. So it's really great. Let's let's get those loaded up. And I'll get started. So I set the timer for five minutes because I think those hooks will clean up uh, perfectly in five minutes. So let's go talk about another style of wheel equipment while we're doing this. So this is another piece of wheel equipment. It's a spinner hanger. It's a very, very versatile piece of equipment. Uh, we can use these fixtures to hang just about any type of part that you can imagine. And again, you can build any type of fixture you want. Yeah, so it's very versatile. I mean, you know, the nice thing about this type of equipment here is we've got two chambers. It's a production style equipment. Uh, it's easy to switch these fixtures out. So, you know, what we do is we've got customer parts come in. We, we have a fixture that's made for those specifically, so we swap that tree out, put the new one in, start running parts, we're good to go. The other thing about this type of equipment is, um, you know, it, 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 it's gonna be allow you to process a lot of parts, but unlike the tumble blast, they're not gonna hit each other. That's what the fixtures are for. The other thing too is we, we've got these machines set up with VFDs or variable speed drives so that we can actually turn the wheels down and, and reduce that velocity where we can even prep aluminum parts, which is traditionally going to be a pretty soft material that you're going to be blasting with. And we can prep those for powder coat or, or other um, coating applications. So um, it's great. I mean, it, it really is a, a you know perfect production uh, piece of equipment for a lot of different types of parts. So those ran uh, for about five minutes. They cleaned up pretty well. Most, if not all, the paint's off, so I feel pretty good about them. Uh, we're gonna reverse the mill, dump those out in the bucket. We'll be done with running those hooks. So we're done running parts for the day. You guys have seen two different pieces of equipment, wheel blast equipment that we use on a daily basis. Let's head back inside and talk about a little bit more about some wheel application. Thanks so much again. Um, what we're going to do is just wrap up. So wheel blast, uh, the beauty of wheel blast is it's very versatile. There's a lot of different types of equipment out there, a lot of different types of media. Um, and so, you know, for the most part, you can find a piece of equipment for your application. And even in that equipment, it can be versatile and run a lot of different types of parts. Um, so just, you know, remember if you're looking for wheel blast, call someone like Jared. So. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And uh, remember, surfaceprep.com or call any of us. Uh, we're, we're happy to help with any of your application needs.